Hi guys, I know it's been a really long time since I uploaded a video. Um, the last video I uploaded was um, the Harry Potter studio tour vlog. Um, before that, I can't actually remember what the last sit down video I made was. It's been such a long time. And to be honest, I don't even really know what the definitive reason for that is. I think I'm at the stage now where I've just gotten out of the habit of it. Um, and I've just fallen out of, you know, the routine because it used to be that I used to come home from work either on a Friday or maybe even over the weekend. I would sit down and record videos. And for some reason that just hasn't been happening. Um, I am still reading, um, not at the pace that um, I did when I first started my booktube channel. Um, my reading has slowed um, over the last couple of sort of years, really. Um, but I am now finding I'm reading more of what I want to read, what appeals to me. It doesn't matter sort of the size of the book. Um, if I that's what I want to read, then I read it. Um, I accept sort of less and less review books now. Um, I request less and less review books. Um, I actually am buying less physical books. Um, if it's like a favourite author or something I'm really excited about. And then I buy the physical book for the but for the main part I have been reading more on my Kindle since I got my Kindle Paperwhite um I love that thing I love that thing so much I got that sort of towards the end of last year after I came back from holiday last year and I had like a tax rebate I bought that with it um so yeah I absolutely love reading on my Kindle Paperwhite um so yeah I am like I said I have still been reading I'm currently reading two books um which I don't normally do I don't normally read two books at the same time but the first book that I'm reading is Taste of Darkness by Maria V. Snyder this is the third book in her Avery of Kazan novels and I don't know why this has taken me so long to get around to reading because I loved this series well the first two books um, Touch of Power and Scent of Magic and I loved her Poison Study trilogy I read those one after the other um, so I think part of me was quite reluctant to pick this up because I was sad it was going to be over but I want to finish this series because the Poison Study trilogy was a trilogy but now it's sort of got a second trilogy to it so it's like sequels um, and the third book was released this year and I haven't started that yet because I don't want to be in the middle of different series but by the same author so I wanted to finish this and I am 162 pages in up to chapter 10 um, really really enjoying it um, and I'm actually using one of my bookmarks that I bought from Grand Canaria last year um, when I became absolutely obsessed with parrots. Um, so, yeah. Um, so I am enjoying that. And then the other book that I am reading is um, One Night Promised by Jodie Ellen Malpas. And to be honest, guys, I the reason I'm reading this, there's a backstory. Before starting these two books. I was reading another series by this same author called This Man. I actually have the second book on the sofa. Um, this series, this is like I said, book two. I was reading this series and I read book one, finished it, read book two, read book three. And if you follow me on Instagram, then you'll probably already know this, but I still don't know how I feel about that series. Something obviously kept me reading, but there were so many things I didn't like about it. Um, or I wasn't sure about, I wasn't 100% sure I liked the main characters. Um, yeah, I think there's not trigger words, but just certain things in that series that I hate in books anyway. Um, so yeah, I went back and forth a lot on that series. And to be honest, I still don't know how I feel about it. I rated it, I think, sort of 2.5 on Goodreads. I thought, well, I don't know how I how I feel. So if I rate it halfway, then if I decide I can go back later. But I just don't know what it is about that series. I'm I'm just not sure. Um, but anyway, I had her other trilogy, um, the One Night trilogy, on my shelf. And I was like, I need to know how I feel about these. So far, I think I'm enjoying this one that little bit more um can't definitively say that yet because I am only 128 pages in but so far 
I'm liking it that little bit more, but obviously it's too early to say definitively. So yeah, I'm sorry that I've been absent, guys. What actually provoked me to make this video was, well, one, because I had the house to myself and I could just sit here and record a video. And two was because someone commented on one of my Instagram pictures um, about a week ago saying, would I ever be uploading again because they missed my videos? And that did make me feel kind of bad because um, I've always enjoyed making videos. Um, and there's not any one reason as to why I sort of stopped making videos, but it just kind of hasn't happened. Um, so yeah, I am hoping to maybe make more videos, but I'm not going to promise because I don't want to break that promise. Um, but you know, maybe sp more sporadic videos than, I mean, previously I used to upload weekly. I don't think I can commit to that because obviously I'm very bad at it now. Um, but maybe if I can upload every now and then just to, you know, update you guys um i know i used to make favorites videos as well i've even stopped making those i'm sorry i can give you a few quick favorites if you'd like them though um first one being this ring i changed um the ring that i wear on my middle finger i now wear this amber one which i absolutely love um i used to show you obviously makeup favorites i can show you some because i've got them in front of me um this essence lip oil is like the best thing i've found for my lips in ages i've been having sort of sore chapped lips for the longest time um and i always would wear lip balm and nothing was working like my chip my chip my cheap ones my more expensive ones um just nothing was getting rid of them i thought maybe it's because it got too used to one so i kept changing them nothing worked um i literally i thought i'll try this because i saw it in wilkinson's i think it was it was two pounds i thought i'm at that point where i'll try anything two days after using this um i haven't had sore lips um it's been absolutely amazing you can see i've had this for two weeks now and i've like used nearly all of it um so i bought two backups because it's just been the best thing it goes on it kind of looks like lip gloss um it's not too oily it does sort of settle after a while um so that it you don't kind of don't notice that you've got it on um <clears throat> again since i've got them here i can show you um for my birthday my mum got me the jeffree star androgyny palette um and i ha i don't wear makeup every day i'm quite lazy in that way um it's an effort to put makeup on and sometimes i just like to be like all relaxed and stuff so i don't bother um but she bought me this for my birthday and i've been playing with it sort of lately and i really really like it i haven't played with all of the colors but what i have played with i love um i love this brown matte i love this sort of copper um the shade here and i actually used this one androgyny for the first time today not that you'll probably be able to tell with this camera but it's like a purpley color and i love his li liquid lipsticks as well um but where my lips have been so sore i haven't been able to wear one in a long long time um so but now that my lips are all getting better i will be back to wear my jeffree star liquid lipsticks also i literally this came in the post today and i can already tell that it's going to be a favorite and that is the anastasia i'm not a beauty guru obviously um moon child palette and it's all highlighters now i am a highlight obsessive i love highlight um and that this is this one and it has it's this is not going to be the best light to show you in but it's just amazing. Like I had to swatch them to decide which one to wear today. And it was really hard because I wanted to wear them all. But I actually decided in the end to wear Purple Horseshoe. Which is this one. And I don't know if it's picking up. But yeah. It is amazing. Absolutely love it. And I also put it on my like in the corner here. Obsessed. 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 Love this. I love highlight anyway. Um, but I feel like this palette is going to get an awful lot of use from me um when i do wear makeup because it's just stunning i love that it has like shifts in it um it just looks eth ethereal i have to always think before i say that word um so yeah i absolutely love that um so yeah that's like the quickest kind of update rundown ever um i was thinking actually guys could you tell me what videos you would like to see um because i've been out of the loop for such a such a while now um is there any videos that you'd particularly like me to record for you um 
I do think that if I you know have days out and stuff I'll still vlog for you um, me and Beth are actually planning to go to the Harry Potter studios in December when they do it all up for Christmas so I mean I've already vlogged Harry Potter but if you'd like to see it at Christmas let me know I am still thinking that I'll do vlogmas um, which is crazy to be thinking about that it's August um, so yeah just let me guys know let me <laughs> guys let me know what you want to see um, so yeah I, I have kind of missed videos um, it feels weird now to sit in front of the camera and record yourself um, but yeah let me know I'll see you soon hopefully